In the early 1970s, India found itself at a crossroads, torn between tradition and innovation. On one hand, there were the steadfast proponents of the humble bicycle, a symbol of simplicity and affordability. On the other, the daring few had embraced the motorcycle, relishing in speed and comfort. It was in this era of choices that the tale of the Luna, an Indian moped, began. A renowned industrialist H.K. Ferodia from Pune, pens a letter to his son Arun Ferodia who was at that time studying at MIT. He urges him to return to India with a vision, a vision to create something extraordinary, something that would change the way millions of Indians moved. And so, the story of the Luna unfolds. Arun Ferodia, you know, have a, have a relationship that goes back a long way because your family was one of the first involved in the, uh, the auto industry, if I can call it that, and I was wondering if you could tell us about the struggles and what happened there. One day my father, he wrote me a letter that come back to India, we want to manufacture a moped. I said, what is a moped? <laughs> so he said, moped is a vehicle for common man. I thought it was a common man's vehicle, means something like Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> so I said, fine, I'll come, I'll wind up my things here and come. Although I was an electrical engineer, and I didn't know what moped was, I came. Then he said, well, you know, this was born out of a conversation between me and Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, and he said, make a vehicle for common man. So here are the parameters. So he laid down the parameters. He said the vehicle should cost less than 2,000 rupees. It should be made without foreign collaboration, no imported components, no imported machine, Factory should be set up in backward area, and here is 15 lakh of rupees given to you. Go make a moped. So we made a totally indigenously designed moped, set up the factory in backward area with no collaboration. It was the first and probably the only Indian vehicle which has been made without collaboration. Thanks, Arun. Fantastic. Introduced by Kinetic Engineering in the late 1970s, the Luna swiftly became a symbol of accessible mobility. It was more than just a mode of transportation, it embodied Indian innovation, simplicity, and determination. The Luna was born from a desire to create something, robust, easy to maintain, and, above all, affordable. In a time when owning any vehicle was considered a luxury, the Luna bridged the gap, bringing wheels to the masses. Weighing a mere 50 kilograms, the Luna offered an upgrade to the middle-class Indian, all while considering their comfort and time. It became a companion in the daily grind, in moments of celebration, and even in the pursuit of adventure. Luna's advertising campaign was a game-changer. In a market dominated by elite, English-speaking audiences, Luna's Chow Mary Luna tagline in Hindi which means, Let's go Luna, broke barriers. It spoke the language of the common Indian, featuring relatable characters like Ram Murari, Ravi Kumar, and Radha, who faced the same challenges as the viewers. Luna's marketing genius didn't stop there. It made its presence felt on the cricket field, awarding the coveted moped to the man of the match. For nearly three decades, Luna ruled the roads, touching the lives of millions. But as competition grew, Luna's glory began to fade. Sturdier, more fuel-efficient vehicles replaced it, marking the end of an era. Today, the Luna may be a memory, a relic of the past. Yet, for those who witnessed its heyday, it will forever be a symbol of a revolution that transformed Indian roads, a testament to simplicity, affordability, and the spirit of innovation. The Luna, an indomitable chapter in India's automotive history, will always hold a special place in the hearts of a generation that embraced change and rode towards a brighter future. Oh Luna, it was my first ride, the freedom it gave me.